Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video this is Ashok from TechEB and today we have another update for OnePlus 3 and 3T devices which is in the form of Open Beta 39 for OnePlus 3 and Open Beta 30 for OnePlus 3T. So if you guys have not received the update you can check the about section if you are already running Open Beta and if you are not running Open Beta then you need to manually download the file from the description below and flash it using TWRP recovery or, or stock recovery. These are the changes what they have done on the latest update and the update size is only 67 MB so not much of changes or additions they have done. First let me show you the software information going to about phone. Here you can see Oxygen OS Open Beta 39, Android version is still 8.0, the device is still not updated to Android 8.1 and security patch is 1st June 2018. So with this update they have not got any UI changes, everything remains the same, only few optimizations have been done. They should have got the new UI which they have got it on OnePlus 5 and 5T which looks really amazing. If you guys have missed out that video then you can check in the i button. So now let's take a look at the change logs. Under this update they have done few optimizations under launcher, camera and multimedia. So first talking about the launcher which says improved search tags in the app drawer. So here also they have done few optimizations related to search tag. As you can see if you tap the search by name you, you get few tags available like tool, photos, social, travel and tourism. So here they have done few optimizations. After that they say added new install category tag in the app drawer. Yes here they have added a new install category. So once you tap this you will get all the applications which are recently installed or which are newly installed. Then moving on to the third change log under launcher, it says improved app list for hidden space and toolbox. So if you guys are not aware about hidden space, you can access it by opening the app drawer and then swiping towards your right hand side. As you can see here, here you get an option of hidden space. So in which you can hide the applications, select any of the application and that's it. The app has been hidden. It won't be available inside the app drawer to again access that application swipe towards the right long press this application and click on unhide so here few improvements under app list in hidden space and toolbox so you can access toolbox from here as you can see by default you get few applications over here if you want you can just go to this edit button and add your applications which you want and other applications which comes by default you can remove them Moving on to the next change log which is related to camera which says optimize switching between front and rear camera. So here also there are no improvements done, few optimizations done that to in switching front and back camera. So if you open camera application here, double tap the screen the device switches the camera from front to back or back to front. And the last change log is related to multimedia which says support seeking through timeline for AAC audio files. Now your device also supports advanced audio coding. Now moving on to the benchmark results. Going with Geekbench application, in this single core scores 1767, wherein multi core scores 3681. But on the previous beta, single core scored 1705, wherein multi core scored 3934. In the previous update, multi core was slightly better. Now going with Antutu Bench application. With n bench application, the device scores 1,49,226 but on the previous beta update that was 1,48,439. Now talking about battery life, first cycle I'll be updating by tomorrow, you can check out the pinned comment in the comment section below. So guys this was all in today's video, hope you like this video and if you like this video then do give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, have a great day.